Mais ouais. 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 This is a madness. This is a madness. I'm kicking the door off the hinge. This is the new age and I am the pioneer. See them present with a riot gear, mother. Reboot to my channel. My name is Osir. And if you're new here, please subscribe. You know, join the family. So basically, today I am going to show you how I slayed, eh? how I finished, how I massacred my first wig. Don't worry about the dummy. This dummy was, I actually caught my cousins playing with it with a permanent marker. And now <laughs> it has a name and a place of origin. Apparently, it's from Kissy and it's called Princess. Eh? My dummy, look at me. Yeah, I feel so bad for it. But anyway, back to the tutorial. I'm actually cutting the lace pole pole because I want to be really precise. You see, I was about to cut that hair, back it up. You know, it's better to be really careful and really slow at something that you're not really good at, or it's the first time you're actually doing it, rather than doing it haraka and then you mess everything up. So I'm going to do another video where I compare the elastic band method and got to big loop method tomorrow on Tuesday. Today I'm just going to show you how I actually customize the wig put it on my head and made myself slay so I'm just following the hairline of the wig slowly and precisely I decided to leave a little bit of lace I didn't want a lot of lace um in the front just in addition my wig itself does not have baby hair so it's going to be a struggle to actually like you know kind of like do the baby hair everything but I'm not really into baby hairs and everything and you see now I am done if you're expecting princess is all looking fine look at her the lace is gone she's just shimmering looking fine eh? so this lace is hard so I'm not sure if laces are normally like that but that's something I should check when I'm going to another wig so princess is just laying you know slaying bit slaying so I'm just looking at the lace I decided to leave the ear tags because uh, let's be honest I just wanted to make sure I have some space to actually put the elastic band and I'm still trying to learn as much as I can uh, especially when it comes to wigs got this like really nice wake up just going to show you guys how it actually looks on my head kuna kidogo uko and then also i left the tags so you can be able to show now my uh, elastic bands tomorrow other than that right now we're just going to prep my hair for the wig i'm using eco gel right now i got this big batch because sometimes i need it sometimes my friends normally need it and this is how it looks inside i'm just going to put away all of my you know my flowers and make sure that they they're just behind i want all of my edges to be behind i'm just putting kid dog or not a lot actually and then um just to make sure like all of my hair is just behind and i don't have to deal with you know some breakage or something like the glue i was really precise i don't really like using gel a lot as you can see i'm just using a, a kido, kidog of killer pahale i don't really use a lot i don't really like using gel as much but i'm trying to experiment with different styles and everything and we'll see how it actually go for those who are asking yes i am going to like lay this wig with my braids i do not like cornrows i do not like how tight cornrows are i prefer braids i feel like they have a lot of diversity and I feel like you feel free and everything so here I am putting everything behind you know you have to prep this thing you know so that's the wood cup I actually got put that oh some of my edges make sure all of my edges are covered and then I just tuck in my hair Sorry, I'm looking here looking like a bald alien from area 51. I just wanted to give you some facts and tea about Du Bois. Fact number one, Du Bois wigs, most of their wigs do not come with labels. Fact number two, just because a wig is soft doesn't mean it's good quality. Trust me, I've learned the hard way and I'm going to make a really extensive video about it on Thursday. So make sure you subscribe, join the family and I will tell you the tea about it. So I decided to go get this Go To Big Lou. Oh, I bought this small Go To Big Lou, it's like the travel size because I have never used it. I don't like buying a lot of product the first time and then I don't like it. It's just basically a waste. So based on the tutorials i'm just going to use kidogo and lay oh it's white the lady told me um on the nini that i shouldn't use a lot so i'm trying to 
make sure I don't use a lot and I'm as close to my edges as possible as I'm just putting the glue if you can just focus you can just notice I'm trying to avoid my edges as much as possible I just notice when you're getting this glue it's going to be a little bit whitish and if you don't clean it up off of your wig list, it's going to bring a lot of issues. If you guys are interested in me showing you how I actually like wash up and kind of like remove all of that glue out of my lace, please comment down below. Otherwise, I'm not going to use a lot. And I've noticed that it's a little bit white. So, does it scare me? Kinda. I'm trying to not get it on my edges at all so here i am away you know trying to find find all of that glue in funny enough it's better for your got to be glue to be tacky than to be liquid. If your hair is not sticky, you know how that you normally pour a bunch on yourself and it's kind of like you feel like you're sticky. That's the feeling you're going for. Now I'm just going to lay my uh, my wig and I was so excited at this moment. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm actually laying my first lace wig. Like it was the best moment of my life. Like I was just, I had so much fun doing this tutorial and I was feeling myself the whole way. I was, I couldn't even wait to do this tutorial. You guys have no idea. So, what I'm trying to do right now is trying to position my wig in a way that it's really comfortable and it actually just sticks. Uh, no one else does this, but I do this so many times and I make sure like I just press it to the glue. I didn't really have like a scarf or anything at this point. Imagine, I did not have a scarf. I had to go look for a scarf, I didn't really find one. But to make sure that it's literally stuck to your head, just put a scarf or kojo and you'll be fine. This was a 2500 if I'm not exact mistaken wig. Me slaying this wig, I felt so good, I felt so amazing. Mm. An amazing but it wig. actually looks good. Like it should look See, as in, I feel like it's so secure. And look, it looks so natural. Slow. Eh. So, this is a good one day. I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid to pull it like this and then it just goes away <laughs> looks so good looks a little bit more natural what it needs is a little bit of tweezing because my hairline doesn't look like this it's too straight so i think i might tweeze it maybe next week but this week i'm just going to since it's going to be open most of the time i'm just going to chill with it like this i couldn't find a like small scarf so basically this is what i'm dealing with what i can say is like the go to be glue actually works like i feel like it's secure it's really really secure like i feel like it's really stuck as you can see <laughs> i'm trying not to force it because this is my look for today <laughs> Tomorrow's video, you'll check it out, and I'll show you guys how I use the elastic band method. Uh, as I told you guys, I got the elastic bands from a shop. This is how they package it for me. A meter, which was about uh, was twenty bob. So I got the smaller ones for my other tutorials. I'm doing a tutorial on making like an extension, like a puff. This is the one I actually got. I got another one. This one, these two were like 10 bob. And then this big elastic band, you can't even see it. It was actually 20 bob. So 
they're really affordable you just go to your fabric store and you'll be able to get one so i'll g see you guys tomorrow and uh make sure you chilled make sure you enjoy life hmm? mimi i'll be here slaying with some but my edges look so straight that's the only problem i have to twist this nini but otherwise i'll twist it next week right now let me just enjoy just you know not doing much to this hair. i love this hair oh my gosh i am in love with this hair i am in love with this hair uh i'm going to do a test drive i'm going to go outside um and see how it actually holds up but right now i feel like over here it's really stuck like it's not going anywhere so yeah <laughs> like it's not it's not going anywhere uh so i'll see you guys tomorrow make sure you check it out uh and if you haven't seen my other videos me and maggie just posted a video on sunday and make sure you check it out look at me looking at myself in the mirror what 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 so make sure you check out my first vlog on sunday i've already posted it and this saturday this sunday i'm also this sunday or this saturday i'm also going to post another vlog make sure you also check it out and i will see you guys tomorrow oh yeah this is going to be part of tomorrow's video but since you've at the end i'm just going to give you a little bit of a bonus i decided to do the same thing you know we have to make sure that this wig will stick on our head come my tattoos come rain come sunshine come everything it has to stick on our head so a little bit uh, something about this tutorial is i decided to do both of the methods which is the elastic band method and the go to big glue method yeah i'm fanning my hair and making sure it's all slayed and everything i just wanted to bring it out to you guys when you're doing lace front wigs it's not as scary as it seems just go for it and as you go on you'll practice you you'll feel better about it you'll be able to do it more efficiently and effectively that it is me about to slay my wig combing my hair making sure everything is okay and then i show you guys the elastic band method that i actually put on my wig and this will be tomorrow's video so if you're new here make sure you subscribe below and i will see you guys tomorrow bye now they want to play because they're trying to get paid but they can't because they're too late we got stacks already making it rain they can't afford us now jump on the jet switching borders now roll me off when i was 17 fast forward they're my employees now